everybody. It's Laura. I just wanted to hop on to talk about a subject that's a little bit sensitive, and that would be the funeral of a loved one. Evidently, we're talking about my funeral, I guess, because ever since 2020 or 2020 has rolled around, I have been getting a ton of mail at least three or four times a month trying to sell me a funeral plan, a prepaid funeral plan. Now, I fully understand that people can pass away at any age, unfortunately, but I'm not even 60 yet. And ever since the pandemic, especially, like I started notice, noticing that I would get more of these letters as I got older. But since we hit January of 2020, um, I get these letters all the time. Okay, for example, this is my favorite right here. Last week, somebody sent me this. <clears throat> Look at that. Just a beautiful flyer of coffins or caskets. Well, you know what? The joke's on them because I want to be cremated. That's right. I want to be cremated and have my ashes spread into the Pacific Ocean. Then, about, I don't know, last week, I think, you can't hardly see this, but I don't know. Anyway, they're talking about funeral and cremation costs. <clears throat> so they send me something and they're comparing, they want me to compare the difference between a funeral and a cremation cost. And then, of course, you know, sign up for their program. And then today, I get this. Of course, it's in a prepaid envelope. The Funeral Home Information Center in Portland, Oregon. It's kind of ironic it's in Portland because isn't that where um, they've been having a lot of violence up there? Anyway, so I just get this today and it's... I mean, what a thing to get during the pandemic. Anyway, it's a letter and um, dear friend, of course, they're not gonna say dear enemy, right? Dear friend, we're conducting a survey to determine how many members of our community plan for one of the hardest things a family has to face, the passing of a loved one. Let's be honest, they're talking about me, okay? There's nobody else in my household who's even near my age. And then it goes on and it asks how old I am, if I'm currently employed or retired. Again, they're digging for information. And on the other side, um, have you ever given any thought to um, how you wanna be buried or what you want done with your remains? Do you currently have a will? No, I have a living trust, but anyway. Would it give you peace of mind knowing what will be, you know, that you could um, do the planning in advance so your family would not have to make arrangements. Basically, it's just a big, it's a it's a guilt trip letter is what it is. It's a guilt trip letter because they want me to feel guilty if I don't pre-plan my funeral right now in my 50s, they want me to feel bad. Um, okay, that's fine. So I'm not gonna do it though because I have a living trust and in the living trust, I say what I want done with my remains, which is cremation and then thrown into the Pacific Ocean as cheap as possible. I'm not going, I'm not gonna be getting one of these. This is ridiculous. These caskets go up to like $10,000. You know, if you're gonna bury me, just dig a hole and throw me in. I mean, eventually all the little worms and stuff are gonna get in there anyway. What difference does it make, really? Uh, anyway. I just wanted to throw that out there tonight. I wanted to ask how many of you who are 50 or older or even 40 over the age, I started getting these when I, when I turned like 40, 45. How many of you have been getting these letters? And isn't it a little bit irritating that they want us to start planning our funeral? And we're not even done living. Anyway, I see what they're trying to do. And on some level, I agree with it, but also, I think it's a really upsetting piece of mail to get over and over and over in the year 2020. Thanks.